Hi there, welcome to my video on how to utilize and enable hidden and or private course feature in Thinkific. If you didn't know already, Thinkific has um, the option to check whether your course wants to be hidden and or private. Now this is important because uh, your course um, will maybe initially be sold to a B2C, which what you call business to consumer audience but it may also be sold to a B2B audience, which is business to business. And so this is important to consider as you build out your landing page and decide what you wanna show and what you don't wanna show. Um, if you wanna know more, so the hidden is really the idea of making your course hidden. It really means that your course isn't ready for people to enroll uh, unless they receive the link specifically from you in an email. Uh, this is important because if you do not enable the course hidden, then it will be live on your website, on your landing page, and that means people can sign up at any time. Uh, the beauty of a hidden course is that not only can you make it hidden and um, so that it doesn't show up on your landing page, but it also means that only people specifically with the link and early adopters and people with early access can sign up and enroll in the course. Uh, the other beauty about the hidden course is that it doesn't show up in any um, internet search engine results. Uh, this is important because while you may have SEO um, keywords set up, you may not be ready to have it show up um, in search engines and for people to sign up because you still have some changes that you'd like to make to the course. So let's look into uh, Thinkific a little bit more to see how you actually set up a hidden and or private course. So, Let's just say this is my uh, course right here. It says launch your course online in four weeks. And then if I go to the settings tab, I see that in under here with the heading access, there is a private course and a hidden course. So I uh, think if it does give you a little like tidbit of what this um, means for private and hidden, but let's just go through it a little bit more to be uh, detailed. So in a private course, this means that your students will not have access to it unless they get the link directly from you. Uh, this will remain uh, on your landing page, but no one can roll on it unless uh, they have the link specifically. So let's just enable this private course. Click save. And now we wanna click preview and start to see that, you know, this is my course right now, all the details and that people um, cannot sign up on it because it is a private course. And so now if I say, well, I'm not ready to you know, make it private, but I do want to hide it because I don't want people to see it. Then that's where the hidden course comes into play. Because hidden allows you to hide it, um, especially hide it from the landing page so that it doesn't show up and so that people do not see that this is a course that is available and that only people that you specifically grant access to will have uh, this course. So let's click on save. And then if I go to my landing page and refresh, I will see that there are no courses right now on my landing page that are available because I've hidden all my um, available courses because I'm redeveloping them. So this is an important feature uh, to look into and explore as you're building out your online course business because there's so many different ways that you can utilize the hidden and your private course uh, for your business. And the private course especially is great if you're selling this to uh, companies and HR and you want to offer this course in uh, large quantities. So then you only make it private because you can't make it both private and hidden. So you make it private and then you send this course link directly in the email to the person who's in charge of administering the course. So once they have this link, then all the students who have it will be able to sign up and enroll as a student, and then you'll be able to track um, the progress and track you know, the completion rates and uh, find out how students are doing. So I hope this video helps you. Leave a comment, question if you want to know more about what other ways that you can utilize this feature in Thinkific, um, and also subscribe to my channel and let me know what other videos you want to see. Uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day.